DNR disclosed that the tragic incident that claimed 11 year old Olivia Knighton's life was a result of a large wake that impacted the vessel they were on here on the Intracoastal Waterway just outside of the Little River waterfront behind us. Now officials saying that wake was so large from a boat passing by their vessel that Olivia and others were rocked on it and knocked off of their 23 foot boat. Nine total, in fact, were knocked off into the water. Officials saying Olivia was struck by the boat's propeller and died as a result of her injuries. Now those working the waterfront today tell me, simply put, it's a tragedy. But was this tragedy avoidable? For the last couple of years, in fact, no wake zones have been a hot topic in Little River, with one now active between the waterfront businesses from the casino boat here down to crab catchers on the other side. A worker who did not want to go on camera did confirm to me that he was here around that time. This is lunch hour yesterday when all this unfolded. He said it appears that the boat Olivia and the others were on that was impacted by that large wake took place just outside of the no wake zone here along the Little River waterfront. I also reached out again to DNR officials today to see if any criminal charges could be involved with this incident. I'm told it's currently too early in the investigation to consider any criminal charges. The family of Olivia Knighton in shock over the 11 year old's sudden death yesterday in a boating accident in South Carolina. Into the box to hand, her father, Brad Knighton, a retired goalie and current coach with the New England Revolution. In a statement, her family says, We are still in disbelief that her bright and pure light was taken away from us so suddenly. Olivia loved soccer and the Revolution with all of her heart. Authorities in South Carolina say the girl was one of 12 on a boat in the intercoastal waterway in Little River. The 23-foot boat was rocked by a large wake from another vessel. Several people went overboard, including Olivia, who was struck by a propeller. She later died of her injuries. The Coelho Middle School community in Attleboro is also mourning, where Olivia was a fifth grader. The principal says she was a wonderful student, involved in many school activities, and made an impact on everyone. Grief counseling services will be available here Monday. In the Knighton family's statement, a plea for prayers, ending with a message from her parents and siblings, we love you, Olivia.